In this video, we're gonna look between where you should live, Ottawa versus Toronto, Toronto versus Ottawa. It's the battle of the two big cities. It's O-Town versus the Big Smoke. It's the Bytown versus Hogtown. It's the Capital versus the T-Dot. It's the 613 versus the 6. But before we get into it, show reel. Hit it. Ottawa is most of the time at the top of many city rankings, if not number one, for the quality of life and cost of living. Toronto is seen as a central location for anything and everything that happens in Canada. Ottawa's less dense population gives it the O-Town nickname with a rich history of focus of green space and outdoor activities and cultural influences, whereas Toronto's cosmopolitan big city feel, financial capital and fast moving action with entertainment and business is very attractive. So point number one, employment. Toronto is basically the business capital of Canada. All the global companies have representation in Toronto. It's also the financial capital of Canada with a hub with all these outlets. The market covers almost every industry that you can think of. It's, a, it's an absolute giant. Whereas Ottawa is a bit more niche. We have a federal government, hospitals, education, high tech, and educational, as well as diplomatic affairs, and NGO, non-government entities. So the winner clearly for the employment section is Toronto. So point number two, real estate. Toronto's median cost right now is $989,000. Some people feel that there's a real estate bubble taking place there. There's also a double land transfer tax when you purchase a home in Toronto, both a provincial and a municipal. Whereas in Ottawa, you only have the provincial land transfer tax. There is no municipal when you purchase. And Ottawa also shows a 60 year history of growth year over year. In fact, every uh, year it goes up about three to 5%. And then every seven to 10 years, you'll see a bit of a spike as the economy cycles through. So the winner in this one, point number two is taken by Ottawa. So point number three is commute and transit between these two hubs. So Toronto actually has one of the best subway systems and transit systems in all of Canada. Its system actually is connected quite well to the suburbs and getting around Toronto with the help of the GO train, the TTC and Up Express. It is very efficient, somewhat affordable, and it runs all the time without any issues. Now a big downfall of that is actually the commuting time for Toronto residents that are trying to get to downtown. Those commutes can actually be pretty horrendous from what I understand. And I've talked to a few people that live and work in Toronto and it is a bit of a daunting task. Whereas in Ottawa, we have a brand new LRT system. Now the system has actually been implemented. So we've actually encountered some issues across the board, but they're actually getting up to date with those with brand new LRT stations. And OC Transpo, which is our actually local provider of the public transit system, runs all through Ottawa into the suburbs and it provides fantastic, timely, reliable service as well. Now, if you're commuting into the city, in terms of guys past the highway, there is this natural green belt around Ottawa. So coming in the suburbs into downtown can be anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes, but that's a lot better than looking at um, the commutes you'd actually have in Toronto. So on this point, Ottawa takes the cake because I hate to commute. So point number four is crime. When we're using the crime severity index, the CSI, Stats Canada measure all police reported crime, which takes into consideration both the volume and the seriousness of offenses. On that scale, out of 237 cities, Toronto ranked number 39. Now these 237 cities are cities, towns, and communities across Canada and specific to Canada. Other notables are Vancouver, which showed up at 59th, Montreal at 63rd, Halifax at 60, Sudbury at 66, St. John's, Newfoundland at 70, Calgary at 71, Gatineau at 77, Kingston at 94, London, Ontario at 100. Ottawa was fairly safe, ranked at 107. It's a very safe area, very safe place to raise your family or to pursue a career. And that's why at this point, Ottawa takes it. So point number five is weather. 
Now, Toronto does get a decent amount of snow from throughout the winter months, but the wind chill is pretty uh, horrendous there when I've been there. But the summers are beautiful, fall is beautiful, and it's a great spot. It's much, much more moderate than what you'd experience in Ottawa. Ottawa has a good amount of snow throughout the winter. We're talking five to six to seven feet sometimes. And, but we have winter festivals that actually bring out lifestyles so you can actually enjoy the winter time, such as winter lewd and different festivals, skating and different types of sports. Now the fall time frame is absolutely beautiful in Ottawa. The trees change colors. The summer can be, summer can be very humid and hot. And the spring is just beautiful and lively. But both cities offer some great uh, weather. But the one that wins this one, it's Toronto because it's much more moderate with less snow. So point number six is arts, culture, and entertainment. I'm sitting here with Oscar Peterson over here at the National Arts Centre in Ottawa. Absolutely beautiful area. Now Toronto offers so much entertainment. It is the hub of entertainment, uh, events, and culture, fashion. There's a lot of stuff to do. And all the major shows actually go into Toronto. And they have wonderful sporting events as well. And a lot of the stuff that actually wins for Canada will most likely be held in Toronto because of the sheer size and volume of Toronto. But Ottawa is actually the nation's capital. So there's a lot of infrastructure for all the national museums, all the different events you could do throughout the year, festivals in every season of the year. It's hard pressed in summer not to actually see a festival that you could actually enjoy in Ottawa. In Ottawa, with all the national museums such as the National Gallery Art, the National Arts Centre, have we have here the Museum of War, the Museum of Nature, the Museum of Science and Technology, and my personal favorite, the Diefenbunker Museum. So this one, it's a tie. Toronto, Ottawa, they're tied on this one because it really depends on your choice. So point number seven is shopping between Ottawa and Toronto. Well, this one's an easy one. Toronto has an abundance of shopping. They have fantastic boutique shops. Ottawa also has comparable stuff, but Toronto, just because of its sheer size, sheer density and being the center of Canada, they get some brands that we don't even see here in Ottawa. So shopping, Toronto takes this one. Okay. So point number eight is healthcare. Both Ottawa and Toronto offer state-of-the-art medical facilities for their populations. Now, the sheer density of Toronto offers so much abundance from hospitals and medical facilities, but Ottawa offers a very comparable to the population that we have. And both have private practices, as well as dentists and doctors for families. It's just a matter of getting on those wait lists and finding access to those services. But both are very comparable. So this one, it's a tie. Ottawa, Toronto, tied on this one. So point number nine, education. In Toronto, you have the University of Toronto, Ryerson University, OCAD for design, York University, Humber College, etc. There's so much. It's a massive population and they have a lot of educational institutions with some wonderful specialization that happens in Toronto. Now, Ottawa has the University of Ottawa, Crown University, Algonquin College, plus a few others as well. It doesn't have as many universities as Toronto, but it also has a wonderful specialization. If you're looking for engineering or journalism or design or advertising, there are so many opportunities within Ottawa and Toronto to get specialized. So this one, it ultimately comes down to personal preference and it's a tie. So there you go, Ottawa versus Toronto. And the score is in, the tally is three for Ottawa, three for Toronto, and three ties. Ultimately, it comes down to your personal preference. The choices here are so subjective. If your preference is for a fast-paced big city life and fast career, then Toronto is a great fit. If you're more of a slower pace, charming settings, outdoor quality of life, stable economy, and clean, healthy living, then Ottawa is a great fit. We love these cities and we love this country. Honestly, we have so many people reaching out to us who are relocating here to Ottawa or across Canada and we absolutely love helping them find a new home. If you're thinking about making a relocation to Ottawa or Toronto or anywhere across Canada, then myself and my team who are relocated across Canada can help your relocation be smooth. Feel free to reach out to us. If you have any questions, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, even wrap it up in a bow and send it first class because we got your back. We're moving to Ottawa or Toronto or across Canada. Until next time, take care. 
wind chill can be pretty toxic and we're sideways now for some reason. <laughs> Point number five, scratch that. Always on the phone, making deals like a realtor. 